In this video, I will be showcasing a hollow cathode electron gun that I built in my home lab. I display the transition from atmospheric pressure to medium vacuum pressures in the first half of the video. In the second half of the video, I adjust the input power to the system to adjust the properties of the gun. To start off, we are looking in a dark chamber that is being pumped down from atmospheric pressure. Voltage is applied across the electrodes from the start and no plasma is observed. As the pressure is decreased, a glow discharge suddenly starts around the electrode and quickly expands outward as the pressure decreases further. This is due to a property of gases called the mean free path and correspondingly the mean free speed. Now going down the rabbit hole of gas kinetics, what these essentially boil down to is a relationship between the pressure and the speed the individual gas molecules can reach. As pressure decreases, the total number of gas molecules in the chamber decrease, which increases the average distance between molecules. Overall, this allows each molecule to travel further before it strikes another gas molecule and transfers its energy. This also means is that each molecule can be influenced by external forces, such as an electric field, for longer and gain more energy. This allows gas molecules and electrons time to build up energies that are capable of ionizing additional gas molecules, which creates the first plasma observed. Pressure is not the only influencer on the physical properties of the plasma in this system. Adjusting the electric field can induce similar effects and also can be used to switch between the beam mode and the plume mode. Essentially, when the applied power is increased, this increases the number of free electrons in the vacuum, as well as the electric field strength. This allows electrons to be accelerated more strongly, as well as ionize a higher percentage of residual gas molecules in the chamber. Additionally, when these electrons strike solid surfaces, they have a tendency to release secondary electrons from the surface, which in turn increases the total number of free electrons in the system. Overall, the system would function as an effective variable power electron beam source, which could be used for uh, possibly melting different metals in a vacuum furnace or generating a strong X-ray source.